Today, we're going to learn how to use text to video. Well, in this case, text to GIF, not GIF, using just a hugging face model. Now, huggy face, if you're not familiar with it, has a ton of models. As of just the other day, it has 537,000 models, and every day, new models are being uploaded. We've already covered text to image and text to speech. Today, we're going to cover text to video, but actually, we're creating GIFs. And we're going to do that by using the Animate LCM model, which is based off of this paper from Cornell University. And here are the couple of things that I created. So here is uh, something about a spaceship prompt. This is the GIF it created. Here is, I had Mario Brothers jumping. It actually looks like they're kissing. I don't know what's going on here. And then I had something about the uh, city skylines, and it created this GIF. So here are some examples of what you can create. So let's get started and see what we need to do. OK, well, the first thing you need to do is install the requirements. I have a requirements.txt file in this directory for the text to GIF. You just need to type pip install dash r requirements.txt and you'll be good to go. There is no inference server, so we have to actually use all the Python code that's needed to create this text to video. So the first thing you need is all of the imports, which is really just a lot of the diffusers. And you basically need, if you're doing something like this and not using an inference server, you probably always need uh, transformers and anything with like image, you're gonna need diffusers. Okay, and I'm not gonna go through all the lines of code here, but basically we create this pipeline using the animate diffusion pipeline that they have. And they pre-trained all of this from these data sets. And what we really need to know is this pipe function. This takes a prompt, which is the first GIF that you saw about the space rocket. It has a negative prompt, the number of frames. So you can increase this so you can have a longer video. For the guidance scale, I see where it's actually recommended to use 3.0 instead of 2.0. And if you're curious what the guidance scale is, basically a higher value encourages the model to generate images closely linked to the text. And so you don't want something too high, which is why I've seen 3.0 as a kind of a standard. Well, after reading online, 3.0 seems to be a good choice here. So we have 3.0 here, the number of inference steps, and then the generator. And then we will say frames equals output dot frames of zero. So this is going to get, if you have multiple videos, you know, this is an array here. So we're just basically getting the first video output from this array. And then from diffusers.utils, they have an export to GIF function that we can just call. So we can just export the frames to this output. Okay, so I just started a notebook in RunPod on a much better machine. And this is this is the same exact code. This is the same exact code that I copied locally. And whenever I called it to export, you see it has to install a bunch of things. And then eventually we come down here and it creates it. And then here is the GIF. Now let's just do another one. Okay, so I created another one. This is a shark jumping out of water to catch a fish. I increased the frames to 30, so this should be a little bit longer. Now, if we look at it, uh, <laughs> it's doing something. There's there's another shark out of the water. It's, you know, it tried, right? It tried. Okay, awesome. Now we learned how to use actual Python code to get all the pipeline for this text to video to work. We couldn't use an inference server with this model, so we resorted to actually writing all the Python code that is done behind the scenes. I believe this is day 12 this month, and this is the third video that I've done with Hugging Face. I got a couple more to go, maybe a few more, but we're learning how to use different models, free models, and use them locally. And then the idea is that we can string these together, and then use them with something like Autogen, which is an orchestrator of all these agents, and we can have this kind of pipeline of all these agents doing different things for us. And each agent can then perform tasks based on different models from Hugging Face. But the first thing is we got to learn how to use them. So let me know in the comments if you used other text to video models and the results that you've gotten. If you have any questions, please leave them there as well. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Here are some more videos on AI and Autogen. I'll see you next video.